When I was younger, when I went to art college, one of my tutors, she said to me, your people normally drive buses, don't they? And then she said to me, the last black guy that was in this college, she got rid of him. I said to her, but this one, me, I'm here to stay. Art is who I am. It's what I've been put on this earth to do. I've known Mike for probably about 35, 40 years. He's good with the floors and the finishes and things like that. And he do need a good hand, a good eye for that sort of thing. It's a bit wet, a bit horrible. It's a rotten job. All of my work is made from rubbish and waste material. The shed is the same. Back in the 40s and 50s, poor artists didn't have money to buy equipment for their work, so they started to make art from everyday objects. Poor Vera, poor art. Sometimes you feel it's like something takes over and you find you're somewhere else. I'm very much in tune with the spirits. I can feel their presence. Some mornings I sit to myself, hang on, I can't remember doing that, but it's there. The spirits are going to take my work where it should be. I'm just the instrument. I came to this country when I was 10 years old. Part of that generation who came over in the wind rush. This is me and my sister back in Barbados as kids. Shit, I haven't been in this for ages. Years ago, when I did my foundation in Waltham Forest College, one of my tutors said to me, throughout my life, when it comes to art, I'm going to have problems. Everything that she told me, it has happened. And I'm thinking to myself, Mike, you're wasting your time. Someone came to my house one time and he went to my shed, he said to me, by now, you should be a millionaire. You should have worked all over the world. Well, I said, maybe my time hasn't come, you know? <laughs> 